We like to kind of kick things off with the 10 second summary of what your movie's about for people who may not know, like the elevator pitch. Who wants to do it? Bill. 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 Uh, it's the movie by Brian Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> The overall movie itself, I walked away with a scared feeling. Although I know that I had some good parts of my life mm -hmm. that were portrayed. So I was really, really, really scared to go through the process of re-remembering -re right. my life. And Melinda, what was it like for you? Well, the first time I saw it was just you and me, right? Mm -hmm. I left. Bill said, don't say anything for 10 minutes. <laughs> but, I, but I couldn't keep my mouth shut. And I said, I've got to go. And I drove around the city for two hours. Everybody did an amazing job. And um, I have to thank Bill. Mm -hmm. he, he took a bold approach to this movie. Not your traditional biopic. I feel like Brian is his music and, and the music is Brian, although I'm not speaking for him, but mm -hmm. that, that was just my impression. So I started trying to learn a few of the songs on the piano, trying to learn how to sing and put a lot of work into that just because it was the easiest way to sort of connect to the spirit of you know the character. And then luckily I got to do some of it actually in the film too. And Elizabeth, what did you kind of learn about Melinda and Brian's story by becoming a part of this? Well, never underestimate the love of a good woman. <laughs> and, um, but more importantly, I think the, when I met Melinda for the first time at a diner near her house, she was just so fierce and devoted and I'm very inspired. You know, they've been together a very long time <laughs> and have created an amazing sort of family for themselves and just have an amazing life and to, you know, he's the last one standing. It's pretty amazing. Goodbye, Goodbye Hollywood, Hollywood Reporter. Reporter.